Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how I executed this five to 38 risk reward ratio, 93 pip trade using the smart money trading concept. If you are brand new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe so that you can benefit from the videos that I upload on this free channel. By the way, my name is Jamal, welcome back again. Without wasting much of your time, as you can see, this trade gave me about 93 pips, very concise and very precise trade. So in order for you to benefit this information from this information, make sure you watch this entire video so that you can gain the depth of what I'm trying to explain to you here. Without wasting much of your time, let's get into it. So first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to delete everything that you see on the chart and I'm going to explain to you guys everything step-by-step -step process of how I executed this trade this morning around 10 a.m. Eastern time. All right. So now let me go ahead and cut the trade and explain everything one by one. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to clean everything up. Turn off the indicator. The first thing that you need to do is you need to go down here and you need to set your time zone on your trading view to UTC minus five New York time zone. All right. So once you do that, you know exactly the time frames that is the times that you're supposed to be trading because I trade during the New York session since I live in the US. All right. So <clears throat> the first thing that I is supposed to be doing is I started from the one hour time frame, but I want to make sure that I explain this from the top to the bottom. All right. So we're going to start from the weekly time frame. If you look at the weekly time frame, we have a bearish market happening here. First of all, we have a market creating a lower highs, lower lows from the higher time frame perspective. Okay. Right there. All right. <clears throat> and then after that, we have a price breaking this area of a structure. This low was broken. So therefore, to since you want to understand exactly how I took this trade. I want to make sure that you understand the depth of everything that I used in confluence before I took this trade. So in the weekly time frame, you can see that we have a break of a structure on a higher time frame, and then you're going to go to the daily time frame. All right. When you go to the daily time frame, you can see that price here was creating a higher, high, higher low back to a supply zone on the higher time frame here. Okay. So how do we define this? You're going to go ahead and mark all this stuff. So higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, right? Right there, higher highs, higher lows. And then we have a higher high right there. So on the daily time frame, we can see that we have a break of a structure. You're going to go ahead and mark this break of a structure. This is on the daily time frame. I don't usually use the daily time frame when I'm trading uh, the sessions because that is a lot of uh, too many historical data. So therefore, I only stick with the four hours and one hour and the 15 minute time frame and below. All right. So I'm, I'm doing this so that you guys understand exactly how it is from the higher time frame uh, top down analysis. All right. So we have a high, 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 low, high, 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 low high, 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 low, and then the last high, high. So on the daily time frame, we can see this is our last high, low led to the high, high before the price reversed from the higher time frame, uh, before the price reversed from the higher time frame supply zone. All right. Remember on the, on the weekly time frame, we have a break of a structure and we have a supply zone after the break of structure price went back to the supply zone and then reversed on from the supply area okay so on the daily time frame now we can see that we have a high 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 low and then higher high and then eventually bryce ended up creating a lower low instead of a higher high this means this high is being protected and then this low is being broken therefore now we're looking for a down move or a seller's market all right so now that we identify this we can see that on the four hour time frame, if you go to the four hour time frame and you kind of zoom this in, you can see 
price now was creating a higher high a low highs lower lows on the four hour time frame and then we have a higher high right there and then therefore we have a break a change of character on the four hour time frame all right so we have a change of character right here the price left price came back to retest this area of supply zone first and then continue to the upside again price broke this structure after the break of this structure we could see that price left a big imbalance between here and here because this area is already filled by this candles here so this entire empty uh, area needs to be rebalanced this means when the price comes back to this zone it will probably react and maybe reverse from here to the upside all right so we're gonna leave this for another day all right we're gonna leave this for another day but now let's continue explaining on what happened this morning so now we can see price creating a high high over here taking out this low and then reversing from this imbalance again after the break of this structure after the break of this structure what happened is you can see price took out this area of liquidity and once it did it reversed from an imbalance area of right there price continued to the upside again therefore now we have another higher high another higher high right there and this is a higher low so now i went all the way down to the one hour time frame once I went to the one hour time frame, I can see that this is an area of accumulation. And then I'm going to go ahead and mark this as a break of a structure. Once I do that, I turned on my indicator, which is the Asian session kill zone. Turn it on. You can see price created another high high right there, leaving this area of demand. And then finally price reversed from this area of demand once it comes to this area of demand what i did was i went all the way down to the five minute time frame once i went to the five minute time frame all right i can see that asia is already taken out asia high is already taken out once asia high is already taken out i can see that price came back to the box again so what do i have in the box now i see that we have an area of uh, demand right there. We have an area of demand right there. All right. Now you can go ahead and turn your shared candles into a, what do you call a, a line chart, or you can keep it the way it is. So now we're going to analyze this moves back to the supply zone, back to the demand zone on the five minute time frame. So you can see we have price going to the downside, creating lower highs, lower lows. Okay, all the way down here. And then after that, we have a change of character once the price tapped on an area of demand on the five minute time frame. So once we get this choke already, now I'm going to go ahead and mark this area of demand zone on the five minute time frame which you can see after the break of this structure we have an imbalance sitting right here from here to here there is an imbalance because you can see this candle is traded above this candle so therefore this is a valid break of a structure with momentum so when you look at the momentum you can see that they are banks and institutions getting ready to fill the rest of their orders that they left out so now what I did was on the five minute time frame, I set my trade long trade, put my stop loss below the higher time frame five minute uh, demand zone. And now my target is going to be on the four hours. If you go to the four hour time frame, you can see that there's going to be some type of area that needs to be filled. So now what I did was I did my take profit all the way all the way on the four hour time frame we have this area of supply you can see that this is my target here so if you go to the four hour time frame you can see it very clearly okay if you go to the maybe one hour time frame you can see it very clearly you can see that we have we have this break of a structure here once we get this break of a structure we see that there is an area 
of supply, which is this shadow here, that needs to be mitigated or needs to be rebalanced because there was an order that was, there was a lot of orders that were sitting over here that took this low and now the rest of the orders has to be accumulated or they're distributed from here to the downside. So this was the area that I was targeting on the four hour time frame, which is a higher time frame demand zone. All right. Now, if you go ahead and replay this, you will eventually see that our order is already filled very precise around 10 o'clock Eastern time. Around 10 o'clock Eastern time. And now we're going to go ahead and play this straight up to the target without any problems. All right. This was 93 pip trade, almost 93 pips. And this is exactly the way it went. All right. So now let's go ahead and go over again. Okay. Let's go over again. Number one, on the weekly time frame, recap again, we can see on the weekly time frame we have a bearish momentum, price creating lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, and then lower lows, and then taking out this area of uh, this low right here, creating a break of structure. And then after that, we can see that after the break of structure, we have this area of uh, supply zone on the higher time frame. So when you go to the lower time frame, like the daily time frame, you can see price traded higher highs, higher lows back to the and higher time frame, uh, back to the higher time frame uh, supply zone on the daily time frame. We have this break of a structure price started going down, creating lower highs, lower lows, and then going back to this area of uh, supply zone again on the daily time frame. And then after that, we went all the way down to the four hour time frame. When you go to the four hour time frame, you can see that price was creating higher highs, higher lows, breaking the structures to the upside and price also reversing from areas of demand zone on the four hour time frame. And then we went all the way down to the one hour time frame. After you go to the one hour time frame, you can see that price came back to this area of supply at uh, this area of demand zone on the one hour time frame, created a break of a structure, leaving this area of imbalances. And then eventually price came back. After the price came back, we went all the way down to the five minute time frame. Five minute time frame, you can see price took out Asia high and then traded back to the demand zone right here. Also taking out this area of liquidity and then price came all the way down here, create low highs, lower lows all the way down here and then creating a move to the upside, leaving all this area of imbalance. And then after that, price came back to the area of demand zone again on the five minute time frame. And then once it did, right after that, 10 o'clock Eastern time, New York price started reversing to the upside, realigning with the uh, four hour time frame. All right. So this is exactly how I executed the trade. Very simple. Please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you like and share this video. If you get any knowledge from this, please make sure you uh, push your bell notification so that next time when I post another video, you don't miss it. Thank you very much again, your brother Jamal. Also, if you want to upgrade your knowledge, get the ebook. The link is going to be in the description down below. It's going to be a, this, this is an ebook that contains everything that has to do with smart money trading. And you can find that link in the down, uh, down the description below. Thank you very much again. Until next time, peace.